Hello everyone, it's Jackie. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're just gonna be cleaning my makeup brushes. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and just like a small Ulta haul because I went to Ulta today and we're just gonna start off with that. So let's get started. Okay, so starting with the Ulta haul, um, Wet n Wild just came out with this super duper cute SpongeBob collection and I love SpongeBob. I already unpackaged the stuff when I got home, but I'm still gonna show you guys what I got. So first of all, this is adorable. This is a Patrick um, makeup sponge, and I think it's literally the cutest thing. The details are so cute. Like, you have the little flowers on the bottom um, for his pants and everything, and that's just so adorable. And you can see his little face. And they also had Squidward and SpongeBob, but, like, I don't know. Those shapes were kind of weird, and I feel like this is, like, the closest to, like, a beauty blender. So, I got this. Continuing with the SpongeBob stuff, I got, um, this is a makeup brush cleaner. Sponge and brush cleanser. So, it's literally... It's just in this cute little container to like keep it in there. I don't know, but it's just like a bar. What I typically use to clean my makeup brushes is literally a bar called Zote. Zote? I don't know how to say it. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But I've been using that. It's literally just like in the laundry section at Walmart and it cleans your makeup brushes so well. I forget what YouTube video I saw that idea to get that um, soap from. But I've been using that same like bar of soap for like probably five years now and i still have so much of it left i'll show you guys when i go into the bathroom i just want to try this because it seems like a little bit more travel friendly i don't know like the little case for it is really cute and yeah i'm just a really big spongebob fan so i want to try this out next thing is this krabby patty um like brush cleanser thing um basically it's like the little silicone mats for you to clean your brushes on and stuff and it, it comes with this little um thing that tells you what the uses are for so um this is supposed to be clean your sponges um this is for your eye makeup brushes and this is for your face makeup brushes and then this is supposed to be a deep cleanser so i guess if it needs a little bit more extra clean you go and use that part i'm not sure but it's a little crabby patty it's so cute and i don't have one of these usually when i clean my brushes i just do it like in the palm of my hand i don't know but these have been getting really popular recently people sometimes will use like i don't know just like textured um like of mitts or something i don't know people have used different stuff to clean these i also got just some more of these because literally mine started to get mold in it so i got this one and then obviously the patrick one but yeah i just got these to have as well and then i got this it cosmetics brush bath thing because i've been using this for like three years now and honestly it's like just starting to get like a little bit low so i bought a new one because i just saw it and i was like oh i should probably get one um but yeah i've, I've been using this for so long it's so good and um I just realized I got so many like different cleaning things for brushes, but this is really good for like if like like this brush has like orange on it right now. So like if I want to clean this and then go into like a purple shade, it's just like a really quick um, clean thing as but like this stuff um, is more of like a deep cleanse kind of thing. I don't know if that made sense, but this is just for like a quick wash. Um, yeah. Okay, and then I came up with like the biggest life hack ever. I got this stuff and it doesn't typically come with a spray cap, but I had this old like Mario Badescu spray and I switched the caps and I just feel so smart for that um, because a lot of people on like social media have been saying to get this um, glycolic acid 7% toning solution pH 3.6 ordinary stuff. It's supposed to be for like a natural deodorant, so it's just supposed to make you like I guess the pH is supposed to like balance your odor or something. I don't smell that much, but I just want to try it for like a natural deodorant. The thing is about this is it's not supposed to like stop you from like sweating or something. It's not supposed to like make you sweat less. So it's just more for like smell, which for summertime, you already know you don't want to be smelling. So I want to try this out. Um, but I just thought this was like such a good idea. If you guys get this, a lot of people just transfer it into a spray bottle. Like, I don't know, this one's from like Walgreens. I just have this for like um, salt water solution to clean my piercings. But um, a lot of people just get like an empty spray bottle from Walgreens or something um, and switch this into there. But I just switched the caps and I think it's so smart. The thing is the, the little sprayer straw thing, whatever it's called, um, it's a little long for the bottle, but you know, it's okay. You can cut it if you're really that bothered by it. So yeah, I'm just gonna test this out and see if it actually helps with odor. Um, again, not that I smell that bad, <laughs> but I just want to try it. And then I got a two-pack of EOS um, chapsticks because um, you can never have too much chapstick. <laughs> and these are in um, a mango melonade scent, so that seemed 
cute and fun brush for like a summer vibe so yeah without further ado we have to clean all my makeup brushes now um i kind of have a lot we're gonna get started on cleaning my makeup brushes so i'm just gonna show you guys how i do them and if this stuff works and oh, so let's get into it also this is really random but another thing i want to get is um they have these like makeup eraser pads i'll put in a picture um from sephora that are spongebob themed and i'm just that's just so cute and i'm so obsessed with that stuff but yeah okay let's get started <laughs> that I was talking about. This is kind of like a similar vibe. It's just like um, a bar of soap. So hopefully it'll do kind of a similar thing. And it smells good too, so that's good. And then I'm gonna be using these also. So let's just get started. So this is the soap bar after I washed all my brushes. So here are all the brushes after washing all them. Oh my gosh, that took like an hour to do. I'm so tired. Literally, my back and legs hurt from standing and doing that and like bending over to the sink and doing that for so long. But all of them are clean. It's something I needed to do. Um, and my thoughts on the Gary 
um, cleaner and the um, Krabby Patty um, cleanser pads. I think that they're really cute and they're really good. Like the Gary thing is like cute for traveling and stuff like that. And it worked really well. Like a lot of the my makeup brushes had like like a lot of makeup on it and it did do the job and it took all of it off. And they're also not really that expensive. They're pretty inexpensive. I think they were like only a couple of dollars. I'll put the prices on the screen. I feel like maybe I could have done without the Krabby Patty because like I said, I typically just kind of put it on my hand um and like do it that way and i've never had a problem with it if you're the type of person that likes the the cleaner pads then the crab patty would be good for you i feel like there wasn't a big difference between the different types of textures and i feel like the soap was very similar to the pink one i showed in the beginning the zote one i got from walmart it was literally like a dollar or two i'll put it on the screen here that's my overall review yeah, so i'm just gonna let them dry for a couple hours also i know a lot of people are gonna come at me for not drying them like standing up or whatever i used to do that a lot but honestly like the last couple years i haven't haven't done that and i haven't come into any problems um i've been washing my, them the same method for like years now and my brushes are fine so i want y'all coming for me saying you're gonna mess up your brushes or the glue is gonna come out and the bristles are gonna come out i'm good <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed that it was kind of like a little asmr moment just like watching me clean and the little haul i'll see you guys in my next video bye